Hello and welcome everyone to the Environment Primer series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pragya and in today's episode of Environment Primer, we are going to discuss a very important topic that has often been asked in your prelims examination. The title of our today's discussion is the IUCN Red List. So, whenever we are discussing species in general, whenever we are assessing the impact of climate change on the species, we often talk about this IUCN red list. So, in this discussion, we will firstly see what exactly is this IUCN red list. Then we are also going to analyze the IUCN red list categories. Then we are also going to see the IUCN green status of species and in the end, we will be discussing a preliminary a practice question for your prelims examination. So, moving forward to the background, a recent updated version of this IUCN red list has been published after the COP28 and it reveals a shocking figure about the global freshwater fish species. As per this updated list, 25% of the global freshwater fish species, freshwater fish species are on the verge of extinction and all of this is happening because of the adverse impacts on climate change and this has been urged by the IUCN director that yes kindly increase your preservation efforts kindly increase your uh, actions towards the combat of climate change because it is adversely impacting our naturally occurring species. So, this brings us to the moot question of our today's discussion that what exactly is this IUCN red list? So, IUCN red list is the foremost global resource for assessing the risk of extinction amongst animals, fungi and plant species. Okay, And it is accessible to all and serves as a crucial indicator of global biodiversity health. It also offers comprehensive insights into the species characteristics, threats and conservation measures, playing a pivotal role in shaping informed conservation decisions and policies. So, whenever across the globe, the policies are being made for conservation, whenever we are trying to assess those species which require immediate attention, we turn our heads towards the IUCN red list. This IUCN red list is also relied upon by various international conventions such as the sites, Ramsar convention, Okay, so all of these international agreements also rely on this IUCN red list data. As of now, there are 1,57,000 more than this species on the IUCN red list. And among this 1,57,000 species, 44,000. 16 species are going to become extinct, are on the verge of extinction. So, that is why this list become even more important. Now, let us analyze the IUCN red list categories. The categories which determine the preservation effort, the categories which determine that yes, these species are on the verge of extinction and definitely we need to pay more attention to these species. So, the IUCN red list categories define the extinction risk of species assessed. Okay, And there are nine categories which extend from not evaluated to extinct and critically endangered, endangered and vulnerable species are considered to be threatened with extinction and most of the question in your preliminary examination is asked from these three categories that is critically endangered, endangered and vulnerable species. So, the IUCN red list categories are Firstly, not evaluated, that means we are not uh, considering those species on the IUCN evaluation assessment. Then data deficient, we do not have enough data to determine the extinction risk. Then there is least concern, that means they are abundant in nature, they are not at that point of risk. Then near threatened, that means they are uh, at high risk of being endangered in the wild. Then there is vulnerable, even more higher risk of in becoming endangered in the wild. Then endangered, high risk of becoming extinct in the wild. Okay. Then there is critically endangered. 
even more high risk of becoming extinct in the wild then extinct in the world this means that they are no lo longer occurring in their natural habitats it is only possible to raise them in captivity then there is extinct category that means they have already been depleted from our earth they no longer exist on our earth so these are the categories on which the iucn assesses the extinction risk of the species moving forward let us see some of the critically endangered species in india so firstly in the category of mammals we have humpback mahasir then malabar civet rameshwaram parachute spider this becomes very important because i think there has been a pyq on this rameshwaram uh, parachute spiders and the pro problem with spiders is that they are not protected in any of the schedules of the wildlife protection act okay then there is peacock tarantula parachute spider okay then there are other animals as well such as the pygmy hog andaman white toothed shrew jenkins andaman spiny shrew nicobar white tailed shrew moving forward kondana rat large rock rat or elvira rat then nemdafa flying squirrel we discussed the nemdafa flying squirrel when we were discussing species in new part 2 okay then there is sumatran rhinoceros and javan rhinoceros okay not only this various frogs are also in threatened in india okay so not only the mammals but the amphibians are also on the iucn red list if you talk about the critically endangered species in india then there are birds bears pochard forest owlet great indian bustard very very important from your prelims perspective a question can be seen on the great indian bustard okay then there is bengal florican siberian crane indian vulture and the himalayan quail all of these indian birds are critically endangered okay then moving forward to the reptiles then indian gharial horse kill bill turtle leather back turtle four toed river terrapin or river terrapin then red crowned roof head turtle or the bengal roof turtle then this para day gecko all of these species are endangered in india not only endangered they are on the verge of extinction in india as has been determined by the iucn red list moving forward not only the mammals and the birds i was talking about this year iucn updated list has determined that yes the global freshwater fish species are also very critically endangered and are on the verge of extinction so if we talk about the fishes in india that are critically endangered they include the pondicherry shark ganges shark very very important knife tooth sawfish large tooth sawfish and long com sawfish or narrow snout sawfish so all of these fishes are also critically endangered in india moving forward let us analyze the iucn green status of species so this iucn red list also includes this iucn green status of species which assesses the recovery of species populations and measures their conservation success so recently saigo antelope saigo antelope is a success story because it has moved from the category of critically endangered to endangered Okay, so preservation efforts have been paid off. We have moved this psycho antelope from critically endangered to endangered category, but the sad part is that it is still in the endangered category. Okay, so there are eight green status categories. That means extinct in the wild, critically depleted. That means we need to pay more attention towards their conservation efforts. Then largely depleted. That means we need to pay hundred percent attention to conserving them because any point of time they could become extinct. Okay. Then moderately depleted. Then slightly depleted. Fully recovered, non-depleted, and 
indeterminate that means we are not able to determine that whether they are depleted or not depleted so these were the categories of the iucn green status of species moving forward to the endangered species in india so the bengal tiger royal bengal tiger the asiatic lion snow leopard nilgiri tahar indian bison one horned rhinoceros black bug lion tailed maskew kashmiri red stag and the resplendent tree frog all of these species could sooner or later become completely extinct from india that is why they are in the category of endangered species and we need to pay more attention to the preservation efforts of these species then what are some of the vulnerable species in india so the first one is the bara singha then second yak then the great hornbill then the maga crocodile saras crane olive ridley turtle kindly let me know of which sports tournament this olive ridley turtle was the mascot okay then indian flagship flap shell turtle then dagong four horned antelope and sperm whale so these are some of the vulnerable category of species in india that means they are on the verge of becoming endangered and that is why preservation has to be increased for these kind of species so as i have mentioned before also questions generally come from critically endangered endangered and vulnerable species in your examinations with this we have concluded our today's session we have examined what is the iucn red list we have also seen what are the certain categories of critically endangered endangered and vulnerable species in india we have also seen what is the iucn green status of species now let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination so the question is recently added to the iucn red list of endangered species which of the following species is also known as the pride of mannar your options are option a is sociable lopping then your option b is nilgiri tahar then javan rhinoceros and your option d is pink headed duck kindly mention your uh, answers in the comment box below i hope this session was insightful for you if you have any feedback regarding this session kindly drop it in the comment box below if you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates thank you